Oh my god. Are you alive? Hello? Hello? Oh my gosh, I think it's alive. I think we're good. Are you good? Hello? Oh my gosh, hi! Hi! You're so small. Oh, you're slipping. Okay. So today I went to pick up my PO box and to my surprise there was a snail, a giant African land snail in my PO box and I was not expecting this at all, I was not expecting a live animal to be sent to my PO box and to be honest I'm really surprised that he is actually alive. When I opened the box I was kind of expecting the worst just because if you look on the postage label he was sent on the 4th of November and it is now the 25th so He's been in there for a few weeks, he had a piece of cuttlefish but I've just popped in the carrot which he has eaten so much already in the past couple of hours. So yeah, I'm really surprised he's alive, he's been alone with no food for weeks, almost a month and obviously the PO box place must have been warm enough to keep him alive and warm enough to stop him going into hibernation because he is awake, he is eating things and I'm just really shocked. So I really don't want to come across as ungrateful, but I think it goes without saying, please don't send me live animals to my PO box. This could have had a much worse outcome if I'd not checked, or even if I'd not checked sooner, if he'd been kept in a really cold place, this could have had a much worse outcome. So please don't send anything living to my PO box. If you really feel like you want to send me something, please drop me a message and ask me first just for their sake and also because I'm really not prepared, I don't have anything to put him in or keep him in, I have had to quickly rush out and get a few things temporarily but please don't send living things to PO boxes just for their sake and for the fact that he could have possibly passed away if I hadn't checked sooner. I'm also really surprised the PO box place didn't email me or call me to say there's a living animal chilling in their office because it is written on the box live animal handle with care so whether they just didn't read it or they just don't care I'm not too sure he's been chilling in their office for about a month and they didn't call me or anything they do send like an automated email to say hey you've got posts come pick it up um, but they haven't really been letting people go during lockdown so that's also really surprising that they didn't read that and think maybe we should tell her to come and pick up this box that has something living inside but he's here now and luckily he is alive all that being said though, I do actually really like him, I think he's really cute and I am really glad to have him despite not being prepared or not expecting him at all, he is super cute. I will put his species on the screen because I will butcher the scientific name if I try to pronounce it, but this is a species of snail that he is and to be honest I was thinking in the distant future that I would like to start owning giant African land snails again and I did want an albino or a leucistic one and I think he is leucistic. So yeah, as soon as I got home I just popped him some carrots in, he's pretty much eaten two whole pieces, I think he was really hungry, I'm gonna have to go to the shops and get him some different food at some point, but for now he's eaten the carrots, and he has been pretty active, he started to move in the car on the way home, and I was pretty sure he was either dead or hibernating, but he's been pretty active, zooming around the top, and I think he's just not doing anything at the moment but he has been really active which is good and the soil is still quite moist, I hate that word, the soil is still damp which is quite surprising, it seems to have retained the moisture quite well so I'm going to put him into a temporary enclosure that I just had to pick up which I'll show you in a second and I don't have a spare heat source or a heat mat or anything so I think he's going to have to have the one that the leaf insect eggs are on just because he takes priority as a living animal over eggs so they can kind of share, maybe, I'm not too sure but I do need to figure something out quickly just to get him on some heat source because I was looking, this species of giant African land snail does require quite high temperature and humidity so I need to sort those things out pretty quickly I also just wanted to thank my friend Jade Dungle on Instagram and YouTube. I sent her a picture of this guy as soon as I opened it up and she told me his basic care requirements. So if you're interested in inverts and you're watching this and you'd like to learn a bit more about giant African land snails or other pets like millipedes and spiders, I highly recommend going and checking out her channel. I will leave it linked in the description. She has a lot of educational and fun videos on snails in particular, which I'm going to be binge watching after this, I'm pretty sure. I will have to do a lot of research, I have had giant African land snails in the past, I think they were the more common species kept in the pet trade, and to be honest I was a kid so I don't think 
I really did them that much justice, but I'm gonna do some research and I'm gonna try my best to give this guy the best life possible given the circumstances. Probably not straight away that I'm gonna be able to have everything that he needs, but I'm gonna try my best. I'll tell you what, let's give him a quick spray, just to give him a bit more moisture in there and humidity. Sorry, buddy. So I actually really like the way he looks. He's got a really nice brown stripy shell and then his fleshy bits are a really pale color, which to be honest, if I was gonna pick a snail for myself, I'd probably pick one that looks like this. So I'm actually really happy with him. I know it was very unexpected, but I am actually really excited. <laughs> Obviously I have to be really careful with this topic and this video because I don't want to encourage more people to send live things to my PO box. If that happens I would unfortunately have to shut the PO box, which would be a great shame because I love receiving and reading the letters you guys send, which I'll talk about more later on in the video, but it would be a great shame if I had to shut the PO box, but I don't need any more animals at the moment, especially with my health not being the best. But that being said, I do think he is incredibly cute and I will keep him and care for him for the rest of his life. So pretty much as soon as I opened up my peer box and realised that he was in there, I rushed to the closer shop and I picked up this Critter Keeper. This is the extra large 21 litre Critter Keeper. It was the biggest thing I could find in the shops that wasn't crazy expensive like a fish tank or anything. So this will probably do temporarily, he is only a baby at the moment. I'll put a picture on screen of what he's going to look like when he's fully grown, just in case you've never seen his particular species of giant African land snail. Obviously he is a giant snail, but they do vary between species in size. So this is what he's probably going to look like when he's bigger, but for now he is still a baby, and I think this will be fine temporarily. So I think I do have some leftover compost soil from doing the millipedes, which he can probably have in the bottom. It's going to be a very basic, simple setup just for now until I can get my hands on other things, but it's gonna be a lot better than him living in the plastic tub and giving him a bit more space. So I think I do have some leftover compost soil from doing the millipedes, which he can probably have in the bottom. It's gonna be a very basic, simple setup, just for now until I can get my hands on other things, but it's gonna be a lot better than him living in the plastic tub and giving him a bit more space. So yeah, I'll check back in with you when I've set this up. I do also want to show you guys some of the other things I was kindly sent in my PO box because whilst I'm here, I might as well show you. And I also need to decide on a name for this guy because apparently his name at the moment is Lucky. But I do also have something else in mind which I quite like and I think is really good for a snail. So it has been a few days now since I checked my PO box. I've got all of the stuff I was sent in this bag next to me. If you're not interested in seeing any of the PO box stuff and you just want to know an update on how the snail is doing, and also revealing his name at the end of the video. Either just wait around or skip ahead to that bit if you want to, I really don't mind, but I thought I'd quickly show you some of the things I was sent in my peer box, which is all in this pack. So I just wanted to say a quick thank you to any of you that sent me letters or drawings recently. Thank you to Rory, thank you to Alice, thank you to Clara, thank you to Neve, and thank you to Ellie, I've received all of your letters and drawings and I spent so long reading them and they just really made me smile, especially when I'm having a bad day. Reading your letters is just the cutest thing. I also just want to say thank you to any of you that sent letters or drawings or presents in the past. I got them all in like a special folder that I can look back on whenever I want to. If I'm feeling sad, I can read your letters. And I promise I've read and opened every single one of them. And these ones are also gonna join that bunch too. Next, we have this big box of things. Thank you so much, you really didn't have to send all of this. I have no idea how you fit all of this in this box. I've tried to put it back in just to store it for a second and I can't manage it so you must have really crazy packing skills but we have a lot of things, mostly hammocks for the mice in here which I'll show you. So the first thing they've sent is all of these hammocks for the mice, there are so many hammocks here, thank you so much. They're all in different shapes and I love this fabric. I would really like to have this as a fabric on my bed. If I could get this in a duvet set that would be so cool because I love the little animals on here, but these are so nice and so soft. I think my favorite one has to be this shape. This is so cute. There's so many hammocks here for the mice, so thank you so much. Then they've also sent some more hammocks in this material. This really goes nicely with the naturalistic theme. I think it reminds me of like a hessian sack material, but obviously it's a really soft material instead, so these are gonna look so nice in the natural setup. I think I'll probably put these ones in first, but both designs are really cute. I love them so much and these are gonna last them a lifetime. Then they also sent me this black collar for Hubble. I think it's a bit too big for him at the moment, but as soon as he's big enough, I will try this on him. And it's just a really good, nice quality black collar with like a grid pattern. And I will try this on him as soon as he fits, but right now he has a really skinny chicken neck. 
Then they also sent this really cute crochet mouse. It has a really cute curly tail. I'm one of those people that has far too many key rings on my keys. I probably have more key rings than I do keys to put them on, but this is definitely going on my key collection because look how cute it is. So the last thing, I think I remember you messaging me about this and telling me that your husband had made it. I think it was your husband, but it's this little ceramic mouse. How cool is this? My house is definitely lacking in rattle mouse decor. So I'm going to find a really special place to put this, but I'm also going to message you and ask if he has a website or if he makes these to sell them because I'm sure a lot of people would be interesting. This is really cool. He's very, very talented. So I will message you and if I do get the information, I will leave it linked in the description just in case you guys also want to pick up a little ceramic mouse because this is so cute. So the next thing I was sent, unfortunately looks like someone has already opened this. They've really gone to town on ripping the envelope they came in. I'm really not sure what's happened with this, whether the postman opened this or the PO box face opened this, I'm not sure. But I think some things are missing. You said on the note that there was also a custom board and breaker, which doesn't seem to be in here. So I'm gonna have to call up or message the PO box place and ask them if they've got it lying around somewhere because someone has definitely opened this, I'm not sure why, but I do have some of the contents inside, which is different types of oat sprays, mealworms, um, petals, things like that. And then we've also got some nettle leaves. So you must have heard me say that I was lacking in foraging stuff for the mice. So thank you so much for sending these. I will try to track down the rest of the parcel and the contents because I have no idea what's happened to this, but someone has definitely opened this, whether they meant to or not. And I'll try to find the rest of the stuff that was meant to be in here, but thank you so much anyway for the stuff I have got. I will definitely put this to good use with the mice. I was also contacted by an incredibly talented artist on my emails, and she said she's been watching my videos during lockdown, and she's also started her own Etsy store, and I think she does also have a website that she started during lockdown, and her artwork is just incredible. So she sent me a couple of prints, which is really, really kind of her, and also a couple of bookmarks and cards. I'll show you guys a close-up of everything she sent. She is very, very talented. I love her style. I think she uses watercolours, which is a very similar style to what I used to use when I actually bothered to do art, but she's very, very talented and I love her art style. And these would make a really good gift if you're looking for gifts for Christmas or something for yourself. I will leave her Etsy and I think her website in the description if you guys would like any artwork or any cards or anything. She sent me a wide selection of different things that she offers, so I'll leave her Etsy and stuff in the description. And thank you so much for offering to send me some things. I think they're amazing and I think you're very, very talented. Oh, she's also given us a discount code which is MV20 and that's for her website and her Etsy store. So I'll leave both of those linked in the description, also with the discount code just in case you like her art style and you like to pick anything up. I almost forgot something. Speaking of art, my incredibly talented friend Freya who is Ratto Ratto Art on Instagram also offered to send me some artwork of Hubble recently in her Christmas collection which she's launched at the moment. How cute is this? I'm obsessed with this. This is baby Hubble when he was really tiny and I love the gold detail she's added to the Christmas collection. She's doing a wide range of different products at the moment, whether it's artwork like this or coasters or prints. She does pretty much any animal you can think of, whether it's rats, cats, dogs. I think she also paints people as well. She's very, very talented and I love her art style. I especially love the gold details in this one at the moment. So she sent us this big print of Hubble. Then she's also made us this really cute decoration of Hubble, again, which has the gold detailing on. I was not gonna put up my Christmas tree this year just because having a kitten and a tree doesn't really mix. But now I'm really desperate to put it up because I want to hang up his first decoration, so I'll probably have to do that next week. So yeah, those were just some of the things I was sent to my PO box recently. Thank you so much to anyone that decided to send anything. Now let's go and give you guys an update on the snail and tell you what I've named him. So in terms of how Mr. Snail is doing, he's doing pretty good. I keep referring to him as a he. Snails are actually hermaphrodites. They can pick which sexual organ to use when they're mating, but that is besides the point. The snail is doing pretty good. I was worried there might be some after effects of being in the post for such a long time. They seem to be doing good, they're quite active, they're eating all of the different types of food I'm offering, and they seem to be doing okay, all things given, so thankfully I think we're going to be okay. So at the moment he is using the heat mat for my leaf and set eggs, I have had to donate that to him. Also I do have a hygrometer that I've ordered coming at the moment, that will probably be a couple of days because I don't live anywhere near a pet store or anything, I do have to order everything online. And I think this is gonna have to have a few modifications just because this species does require 85 to 90% humidity and there's quite a few air holes to escape all of the moisture, which I probably have to modify either with cling film or tape just to retain some of the humidity a bit better. So I'm gonna have to do that as well. 
but I love him. I've always loved snails. I've always had a thing for snails ever since I was little. And I did really want another giant African land snail sometime in the future. I wasn't expecting it to be this soon, but I am actually really happy to have him. And I know snails are not for everyone. Not everyone appreciates invertebrates, but I think they do get disregarded in the same way that rats and mice do. So hopefully even from that standpoint, you can kind of understand that I appreciate them. Some people love them and I'm really happy to have him. So I have actually picked out a name for him. His name on the piece of paper he came with was Lucky, but I've always had a name picked out for my next giant African land snail. I do this with pretty much everything. I've picked out the name for my future dog, and if I get chinchillas, I pick their names out. I pretty much do this with every future pet, and I have picked a name for a snail for a while now, and his name is Slushy. Super random, I know, but what else do you expect from me at this point? Most of my pets have really out their names, and Slushy the snail is no different, so Welcome home, Slushy. I'm really happy to have you. Even if I wasn't expecting it, I am really happy that you're here. So I think I'm gonna end this video here. Super unexpected video, I know, but I will give you guys updates on Slushy and the rest of the pets in a future video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.